Welcome to Golden Bolden Life. As we continue to sail on the MSC Magravilia, we're going to make our last stop on MSC's private island, Ocean Key Marine Reserve, where we're going to make a special visit to the lighthouse, which happens to be the longest, tallest lighthouse in the Bahamas. As you can see, the island is very gorgeous. We have this bird's eye view from our balcony suite. And uh, the island is rather large. And if you take a look at that lighthouse, it is stunning. You can see it from miles away. Let's observe the island views as we head for Seekers for lunch. As you look at the map, you can tell there's plenty to do and plenty to see. We're headed for the north side of the island on our way to Seekers. As you can see, staff accommodations appear to be very nice. Take a good look at the solar station. I was told that the whole island is powered totally on solar energy and it's made directly on the island they are self-sustaining. Wow, this place is really busy. I guess we'll have America reserve and hold the table for us while we go inside the cafeteria to get lunch. fantastic for pastries, desserts, fruit to specialized dishes. took the vegetarian options. They were plentiful and great. But this food is perfect Wow, that was a fantastic lunch. Now we're gonna go by the cabana, look at the lagoon, and take off for 
our tour of the lighthouse. After spending some quality time in the cabana and the lagoon, it's time to head toward the lighthouse. Getting ready to head off to the lighthouse. I always wanted to see what that was like and so let's go. Just made it to the lighthouse, and that is a lighthouse sign. Lighthouse. In preparation for our climb up the lighthouse, we stop at the lighthouse bar for some non-alcoholic pina coladas. Our pina coladas were served in gold-plated pineapple cups, and these cups were also collectibles. As you can see, there are gorgeous views of the ocean from this location. Okay, we are getting ready to climb 160 something stairs up this lighthouse. Should be interesting. Hi, I'm Brianna. I'll be your lovely tour guide taking you. We have three stops you're going to make. On each stop, I'll allow you to take your pictures, and from there, I'll give you a bit of information. Then we'll head up. Alrighty? If you have any questions, you just ask me and I'll give you information. Alrighty? Now, these electrical hubs, the wiring or antenna you may see up there, just please try to avoid them because they can be hazardous to you and I, and I don't want anybody to experience any bad things. But I am first aid certified in case anything does happen. When you're coming up here, if not one hand, try to keep at least two hands on the railings at all times. Alrighty? Everybody ready? Yes? Alrighty. Here we go. Oh, this is a picture from level one of the lighthouse. Ice cream, coffee. It's a good life. Even coming here and going back home is good. Yeah. 
So this place right here is accommodations. We have 90% of local people that work here. The local people stay here for three months. They go home for two weeks. The international people stay here for six months. They go home for two months. Yeah. It's a good deal. Sounds and like I don't pay rent. Uh, that's why you keep it. Right, yeah, that's not bad. That's right. Yeah, that's not bad. So I'm just going to give you a little history about the island. And then after uh, so that, we're going to go up. Alrighty. So Ocean Key was once known as Sandy Key. The reason why it was known as Sandy Key was basically because there was nothing here but piles and dunes of sand. The sand piles were so high that before it was even disturbed, they'd be able to see the sand piles all the way from Bimini, which is 20 miles away in that area. Whenever the sun illuminated it, it would shine that bright. It was also said that it would shine so bright that the people, because there was also a sand mining and aragonite extraction site, the people mining the sand would lose their eyesight. Now, aragonite, which they used to extract from the tea, was, well, it is a carbonate mineral that they used for cell phone screens, TV screens, microchips, and glass mixes. So once industrial companies got word that this tea was very potent of it, of course they came in, they did what industrial companies do. And basically they left this tea all wrecked. MSC discovered this tea in 2015, and they decided that it had a lot of potential to be something better. So they invested in this tea, and from there, so what it is today. Now, when they initially came here, there was a lot of work to be done. They had to move 1,500 tons of scrap metal from the ocean bed. They had to relocate 400 hard coral columns. Now, when they moved that scrap metal from the ocean bed, they had to get a barge, a contractor to come in from the United States and take it back where they deal with those type of things in the United States. So, it was so much to be done. Now, the coral colonies, they put them in areas where they'd just be able to grow and thrive. They did a lot more to it, but I'm not going to give you too much here. I'll just talk about a few other things, and once we get up there, I'll tell you about all the work that they did to make this a very eco-friendly, clean, green, pristine island. Alrighty? So now, let me show you the key that we have out here. You see the key right over there? That little piece of land. Not too far, not too close. That is catchy. You guys can come over here and get it. So Kent oh, yeah. is a private key where millionaires have their homes. So celebrities such as John Travolta and Eddie Murphy have mansions on that key. It's government owned, but celebrities can own homes there. Not only celebrities, but just anyone who's rich enough. Yeah. I once lived on that key. They made me swim back. They tell me working until I get more money. <laughs> Yeah. Only maids, landscapers, butlers stay on that key while they're going just to upkeep the island and then the celebrities will come in on the big yacht. Yeah. Any questions? We also have Brown's key on this side. Right of brown, you might see some brown things sticking up out of the water. Keep right to the right of it. That's a shipwreck. Oh. When they were dredging and mining all the sand, that was one of the boats that they would use. It would be like a barge, sand barge. And they apparently docked it wrong and it drifted off and that's where it's at. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> also, if you look down here, you can see where the island would have extended out further but all of the claw marks where they were digging it up. Uh, if you look right over here, you can see where it would have been, where it's still that shallow area and then where it dropped off. Okay. All that is where the That's island weird. was and they dug away. Oh, Level okay. two! <laughs> <laughs> That's 17,500 pounds of feet. Yeah, so I did that. so they can grow 25,000, 25 times faster than your average coral. So corals grow one to five centimeters per year. When you break one coral into a bunch of little pieces, that's many corals growing one to five centimeters a year. Made it to the top. Here's the view. Hey, 
tallest lighthouse in the Bahamas. This is 165 steps, 115 feet. So you now have bragging rights, so make sure you get your pictures to immortalize the moment. <laughs> We made it to the top of Ocean K. Ocean K, yay! Lighthouse. Hey, hey. Yeah, yeah. Yes, indeed. Made it, made it, made it. We had a beautiful view up here of the ship. And let's see Beverly Viglia. One, two, three, yeah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Entertainment purposes. So this is equipped with 230 LED lights, which power our lights. So our light show is not just like strobing lights, bang, bang, bang. It's actually moving animation on the lighthouse. They actually do, they send messages with the light, and they do proposals. Okay. So if you're interested, you know, hit me up. I got you. <laughs> Alrighty. This also was made different with all of the stops that we took, because normally the lighthouse, they just, just go straight. And all of the windows we look at. So yes, any questions about the lighthouse? Uh, this lighthouse was built during that 2015 to 2019. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I'm Oh, a lot of stairs. Also, guys, if you look to the right of Cat Key, you can see the mainland. Can you guys see it? A little bit of vegetation, that's the mainland. It's very small, you barely can see it. It's right over there to the right. Is that uh, Bimini? Yes, that is Bimini. Okay. That's where everybody, whenever we take a uh, trip home, we have to take a boat ride to Bimini and then a plane ride. Okay. Oh, that's the part of the So all of these things that you're seeing around us are part of the Bimini Canada. Oh, okay, it's ready to go. <laughs> then, yeah, all of this is a part of the Bimini chain of Alright, ladies and gentlemen, if I have no more questions to get, I will have to start taking you guys down. You have been amazing. I have enjoyed all of your company. Ready, ladies and gents. Let's hit it. Alrighty. Also, when we go down, this is going to be. On the way down. Here we go, the last round of stairs. Let's light up in the Bahamas. Whoa. Take care. Later. Okay. How does he get out? <laughs> this is really cool. You see the iguana in here? How do you get in there? He likes the music. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you look in the holes, you see him. You see him. I'm just sitting on the beach 
in Ocean K, well, while the girls are going swimming, climbing that huge, I mean huge lighthouse, tall lighthouse. In fact, it's the tallest lighthouse in the Bahamas. And it lights up at night, unfortunately. We'll be gone by the time it lights up, but uh, maybe the next trip. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, share this video, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. On behalf of Golden Border Life, thanks for watching and God bless.